Good morning, everyone. I am Oracle Unicorn. Okay. I have had a lot going on. <laughs> but I am allowing myself to fly above the storm and stay within my own peace, with my own harmony, and aligning with myself. So, <sighs> as difficult as sometimes this can really get through, uh, especially with um, keeping a lot of my personal life out of my readings, that does get pretty hard. So, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I am Oracle Unicorn again, and welcome to Shaman Messages. Please keep in mind this is a general reading. Um, keep what resonates, leave the rest, put some things in your back pocket, you never know what you might need for later. And this is a weekly reading for Virgo. So, what kind of messages do we have for Virgo? Virgo. And um, if you would like a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. And if you would um, like to donate to my channel, um, the information is in the description box below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribing greatly improves the channel. Greatly appreciate all you who have been following and hello all of you that are new. Virgo. Alright Virgo. I swear Virgos, you've had this concealment card for weeks now. <laughs> I feel like your, your communication and your direction is still blocked. Still blocked. But your interpretation about it all is shifting. You are coming into uh, a shift. Uh, we are coming up or kind of we're coming out of Scorpio season into Sagittarius. Fiery passion. Um, still in Mercury retrograde. So that's bringing up a lot of lessons for you when it comes to matters of your heart and uh, deeper seated wounds. I do have Scorpio in my um, Pluto planetary alignment, so that has really come up a lot for me as well. But you have an opportunity. Um, Involving respect and something that's going to take a chance. You have had these kind of readings for the longest time now. <laughs> Same kind of readings. Okay. Okay. Possibly an opportunity involving a trickster, or you may be dealing with someone that is of a trickster when it comes to projection about respect within a path that is going to require a chance when it comes to this opportunity but I feel the concealment behind this to a point helps you but it's like you're 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 coming out of your own interpretation of concealment from your in, from inside um, and you're going to jump I feel like w when it comes to this uh, roundabout opportunity because opportunity is above the trickster so you may be dealing with someone that is of that energy but it's like I feel like you're going to take a chance within this opportunity for an interpretation in something um, it's going to help with a lot of projection in uh, your deep-seated wound healing um, and I feel this is like that that like last week we spoke about how this um, decision is like you're going to have to face a lot of crap uh, I feel like this is the direction you are now coming into uh, really uh, allowing the shift to come into view for yourself and planning with and around it involving some of you this could involve magic some of you this is like a, a magical opportunity for you it, it, it really feels like it's um, wow it's <laughs> it's uh, a blessing in disguise kind of direction because you do have your prayers being answered your wishes coming true within this this direction 
and it's like you're like okay well uh how could it be coming from this kind of direction like really like that's exactly like what i feel like when it comes to this virgo you're like how can some how can my wishes be answered through this way it's like it, it, it becomes freaking magical for you and, and healing i feel very healing and knowledgeable for you oh wow you embody calmness into it oh my gosh virgos that is so happy for me <laughs> for me to see this you embody calmness you are really being able to like like dig deep into understanding what is creating you to have calmness from the depths of your own uh, deep-seated wounds that you're uh, transmutating out of because you do have the transmutation card into calmness so that's really freaking good like with knowledge like coming out of it out of the woodworks like you're you're like able to just like say the fuck with the storm and like start imprinting things and it becomes freaking magical for you your wish is coming true and the calmness has the um the number 13 on it so this is like a very lucky wow dance yeah you dance within this direction oh and it becomes so healing <laughs> that's beautiful oh my gosh <laughs> Some of you have really, like, completely shifted into a whole nother lane when it comes to this, okay? You, you, you jump into the chance. Like, I don't need it. It's like, okay, uh, let me get... I want to pull my rebel deck out for this, but... The fake calling so I listen and what I just saw was the Scorpio energy the death card so what I have uh, heard and learned that this shift is coming from an outward experience like the death card is about your external life changing um, that's what I heard, um, but for me, it could coincide in both ways. I have seen it, the death card, happen when it comes to internal stuff, and I have seen the death card happen when it comes to external. Um, I feel this is external because you also have, like, passionate passage through trial and triumph into a new level so this could be external and internal so it went through internal and bleeding into your external or your external is forcing the internal to be downloaded into because after that you have the shift of point of view and um what do i feel this card is you're coming out of your imaginary fears yep coming out of your imaginary fears and um, seeing the promise, like being able to really see the promise in this chance you're gonna be taking. Virgo. Damn, got it again, dude. That is awesome. So yeah, it's it's a direction and a, and a passage through and out of your trial I feel like it's like you're in the storm and then you fly above the storm and then you go into um, a triumph of a new level in your direction because you do have the the direction card it's tying interpretation within direction okay so uh, I feel this card with with the opening up of your concealment inside yourself of the rest okay Re receptivity receptivity principle the receptivity of principle so it's like the opening up and creative nurturing understanding with principle and coming into productivity when it comes to this opportunity 
um, seeing the good and the bad, the bad and the good. I feel that's where a lot of your um, respect in this direction is coming from. Even though it seems bad, there's a lot of good behind it. So seeing the bad and the good and the good and the bad, okay? And that is where you get the Sage card. Very good. You get the Sage card, you, actually, you start seeing beyond what is just um, trying to be just like hidden, like you, you see the hidden knowledge behind it, okay? You see the um, wisdom and patience within this direction and what it is teaching you within this hidden knowledge, okay? Sudden shock of events. Rude awakening. I feel this is a rude awakening for you. Because it clarifies the trickster card into projection. So for some of you, maybe not all of you, you're starting to see how much you have been the trickster. Without really understanding and seeing how you were being the trickster then, kind of like a leech. I've had this in one of my other videos for Virgo. Um, coming out of uh, really like um, not being able to see how you're being a leech of uh, positive energy keeping some people around as positive energy and it's like it's a rude awakening for you to emanate your own candle and light within to be a candle in the darkness um, and bringing your own sense of peace within yourself and understanding how to have an alignment true sense of peace so that no matter what it is that you are going through it doesn't overwhelm you overwork you you kind of understand how to kind of like fall back into the ebb and flow in it okay <laughs> Because I've said in another Vir Virgo video, maybe you need to do a little more research when it comes to understandings of ebb and flow with the ebb and flow of your emotions and being triggered and um, understanding the receptivity of principle with being triggered and how it helps you to heal, especially with the healing card underneath all these um, um, overall energy cards at the end of the deck over here. Um, and you do also have like a spiritual empowerment of knowledge and consciousness coming into a download so that could be also a rude awakening within this. It's kind of like clarifying projection and magic when it comes to the raven. So some of you are receiving quite a bit of omens when it comes to um, the um, fertility and nurturing of these new understandings, this new shift that does help you to raise above the storm and to kind of see everything in a bird's eye view and reflects more peace within yourself for being able to do so than to try to have a lot of control within the storm try to control the storm um try to have some kind of like like try to force grounding in the storm when the storm's made there to kind of shake up the grounding environment to bring more to bring in a new foundational um beginning into it Ooh, virgo's young readings are always so heavy okay yeah moral strength within this understanding the um sabot self-sabotaging of trying to fix things self-sabotaging on trying to make things perfect and right in a very structural way uh, trying to really like keep things like be in the storm and like control this wind and this and control the wind, the, the rain going this way or instead of just being like you know what fuck this shit <laughs> shit fuck it going above the storm I'll wait for it to pass <laughs> Or I'll just kind of like watch and observe, be of a witness in the storm. And that's where a lot of your lessons are really going to be pulled out from the clouds. And um, it's like a, it's a skill that it's asking to be practiced 
and it will bring more peace into dealing with these endeavors further on down the line. It's um, helping you to practice this hidden knowledge in um, having understanding within yourself, uh, knowing thyself. Okay. Yes, inspiration and vision. You're getting a lot of inspiration and visions about this. I feel that's why it's a freaking rude awakening. For some of you, this is, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, you're going into an adventure about how to really keep joy within yourself, getting things right, because you have, like, going into an adventure about this, polishing of your skills in, under, in these new downloads and way of handling things and coming out of bad habits of what of noticing what your triggers do for you and how you handle things when it comes to being triggered you're 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 digging more deeply into your triggers okay and that is allowing you to be able to bring more motivation into your joy having joy creating more joy into yourself instead of trying to pull joy from every which angle like telling the rain to rain this way and it'll make me happy and it really doesn't in the end and you're getting that right you're coming out of like being in the box of that perspective that projection that interpretation way of how you were handling it and um it's bringing you a new beginning and a lot of uh, childlike growth and being able to play with life and not have, feeling like taking things so seriously. Like I feel like you take so much things so seriously. <laughs> You're growing out of it, okay? You're practicing the um, this craftsmanship and skills and to being able to take yourself out of taking all of this so freaking seriously and being aware of your fear triggers and not getting aggravated or mad with yourself over these triggers like okay i know what it feels like to be triggered and then get mad at yourself because you just like said something you didn't mean to say in some certain way instead of taking the times to cool off kind of retreat yourself a little bit from it and look at it from a calm and compassion angle and that's what's really centering and grounding you you are literally being like oh, okay yeah i just let it sit there for a moment <laughs> and then like center and ground and come at it with more of a compassionate direction of um a sense of healing with yourself too and understanding your triggers and understanding what your triggers are asking you to really heal and see from the depths of your own wounds and where this is deeply seated and rooted from as to why you handle things the way you do right now okay the more you have a lot of compassion with yourself about a lot of this the more you will be able to really center in a sense of peace with yourself about all of it because you're becoming more aware within these triggers and how to be able to handle them differently because you're not just like like oh this is how i feel and the da -da 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 -da. yeah you're meta you're, you're meta you're like rising up kind of like ashes out of the phoenix type of way with it and transcendence it's like you're transcending over that triggering way of um replying or of um that triggered way of just answering something uh that triggered way of like a uh, way of handling something that could have been handled more in a compassionate type of way from the depths of like your own heart and and, and being like kind of cautious in a way with yourself about it because I feel it's like you're 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 directing a lot of this wow this destruction energy upon yourself because you feel it's uh, I'm just 
I just can't do this or I, I feel like I'm being kind of controlled into doing this. Well, technically not really. It's, it, that's an old way of like really thinking about it. It's like kind of like putting yourself in that box and not really seeing the hidden knowledge behind it. And now I feel like you're taking a step back and really looking at the hidden knowledge behind this kind of energy that gets pulled out of you. And it's not like you kind of control it, but you you nurture it and talk to it like, okay, why? What's, where is this energy going to get me? Where is this way of dealing with things going to get me? Why is it even coming up anyway? Because the, the more you... The more you uh, care and nurture this energy and really like kind of like face it in a way and talk to it, the more you'll really start to understand how to heal it and where it's deeply seated and rooted from, from some kind of old wound inside of you that's even triggering these kind of emotions anyway. And then you'll be able to see how other people are being triggered in that kind of way and maybe imprinting that on you and how to help them to see in a in a sense of so you got inner transformation um in a sense of uh with that new beginning card that's really good in a sense of way of like not necessarily really telling them on how to really heal themselves and that they need to look at this this and this but to be able to handle their like aggression in a calm way and being and like wanting to be more compassionate because of completely understanding where they're coming from and that they are just reacting that's the word i was looking for reacting out of like deep-seated wounds within themselves and you're just the one triggering it for them to kind of come become aware of it to help them to like unconceal this and um, to, to, to venture into the hidden knowledge behind this that actually grants a lot of emotional peace, okay? And that's where this I feel this transcendence come into, oh my gosh, and clarity, truth and clarity in all of it. When it comes to this, what it, when it comes to this kind of energy and transmuting it into like complete awareness, understanding, and it, it, it gives it more healing. So it's like a way to where the universe kind of throws this energy at you too, just so you can see it more and be able to be more compassionate with it when it comes from other people and how you actually transmute healing on with them, with how you handle it and how you respond to it, which is why I see the rest of receptivity of principle and nurturing fertility of like this kind of like you know new uh, way of using your uh, throat chakra okay um, it's this is very interesting and, and it really brings in a lot of like glow and peace and light within yourself I know that sounds so there but it, a sense of healing, okay? And, and really being able to feel and see that sense of healing inside your own emotions, of your emotions, with your own triggers, by being able to compassionately, like, like, bird's eye view other people's, like, reaction towards things that you trigger in them and not really necessarily meaning to, but you were you were meant to in that moment in time to do so because not only does it help them to really see it in themselves but see it and see how, how you have done it within two other people within yourself too so it's like a it's like a reverse healing too in a way kind of double-edged sword on a positive matter which is very um like the, it's like the understanding the natural magic in like creating the impossible being the impossible within your own self and understanding and um having a lot of like open heart surgery into this like you really heal a lot of the matters of the heart which then outwardly allows you to be able to easily 
walk through certain storms and be a bird's eye view through storms and knowing where you can kind of like help into the matter of certain things and when you're just kind of like a, a, a standby person so I've always happened to feel as if you have to like put some kind of or create some kind of change into it it's like you you then realize okay I, I am um, watching the hidden lessons form I am allowing the ebb and flow to happen within the storm and then you really see the calmness and bring in the uh, the gratitude behind a lot of this like change balance within yourself avoiding extremities like it will bring this into like a, like the sense of knowledge and the overwhelming calmness in really being able to like unconceal this for yourself because this could be a, of an unconcealing for yourself too okay Y'all get complicated, but these are my unicorn words of wisdom cards. There's over, practically over 200 little cards in here. So with your new direction in communication, that is what is in there. And rising up out of the depths of this and seeing the hidden knowledge and understanding how to work with trickster-like energy. Go ahead and pull some of this. Okay. Didn't need that much. Yeah, coming into, it says night vision. Coming into really being able to see what is the hidden knowledge and what is being laid out for you within the, the depths of the darkness of things when you feel like you're being left in the dark and things and uh, really understanding the loyalty within yourself and how it really helps you to be grounded within it. And you have, I remember, so whatever that means for you, big change is coming in and to allow yourself to venture into it and be of a peaceful essence through this and see the silver lining, see the silver lining in it. And working with plants help you a lot to be able to um, really uh, work with nurturing like energy, nurturing of the nature like energy. And you are coming into breaking old habits, bad habits within this. Um, some of you are, well, okay. Yeah, okay. You are shifting, transmutating your um, communication, uh, possibly with this other person, and um, also when it comes to someone that uh, embodies the energy of a fox. <coughs> you are understanding this person that you're dealing with more to a lot of understanding when it comes to you as well um, seeing what is unrequited within yourself or unrequited with other people um, and walking away and then you have true love so I want some more it's a little unorthodox <laughs> okay you're very thankful some, for some of the lessons that has taught you when it comes to triggered, because it says thank you, and you're coming into new ideas when it comes to this of the kind of like negativity of these the, this energy that uh, kind of like corresponds with you, um, and new ideas and how to work with this negative energy, um, with these triggers that come up in you. Um, I am not being truthful. So someone you are dealing with is not being truthful. Um, and help. Either someone you're dealing with is asking for help or you are subconsciously asking for help when it comes to the shift 
and you are going to receive an apology, a very light-hearted apology, or you're going to be the one giving an apology about something that maybe you were not truthful about, or that um, coming into the change of a silver lining and understanding of someone else not being truthful about something. And it's like you're walking away from things that are unrequited kind of like reciprocation when it comes to the matters of uh, centering your own actual true love into things. Some of you, this is dealing with two people, someone that's an unrequited love type person and someone that you have true love for. And digging deep into yourself you are understanding the difference between them and coming into loyalty not with the other person but actually with yourself and your own emotions and how you feel about things and how you're going to direct yourself into this big change you're actually coming into um, this huge shift about either you're going to be helping someone or someone is go or you're going to allow yourself to receive help um, within this silver lining understanding that um, possibly about fox energy possibly about communication possibly when it comes to new ideas you're going to be opening up your communication a lot more you are coming into really being able to open up your communication a lot more and aligning with the stars because the stars are really cut or planets really are coming into a huge aligning shift that's shifting a lot of energies within us emotional spiritual there's a huge shift coming in okay so i feel that is what's bringing you into more of this receptivity of your communication and nurturing type energy and what is really going to bring about this apology and working with plants more is going to also help when it comes to your feminality of yourself um, and that the working with the plants help you a lot when it comes to a lot of hidden um, messages for you uh, deep-seated things that are asking to be um, communicated with yourself upon these uh, understandings of concealment. So, I'm curious. Let's see. Three more. Patience is coming in more for you. Some of you are waiting when it comes to these when it comes to this big shift and focusing more in on your work and money, helping you to really step into having a financial kind of like help when it comes to uh, this big shift and breaking of habits. This, this like this big change coming in. This could be for some of you a big change when it comes to your, your work and your money. Like you're going to be coming into a lot more money or you're gonna get some kind of raise because of this communication that you have greatly worked on within yourself. And um, receiving help, shifting into giving help understanding more when it comes to these levels like unexpected events happening so this even though this is like a rude awakening i feel this is like it also now with these cards um there's an unexpected events event line chain of events that's going to happen for you and it's it's and to allow yourself to flow into this change and not to like really be um closed off to this change because this change is going to help you to bring more um, understanding and awareness for yourself because I do, you, you do greatly have this I understand you card. So yeah, there we go. So Virgo, thank, Virgos and everyone, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see y'all next week. Thank you so much. Unicorn out.